guys, what's up? We have some news to do with Dual Links, especially the card trader section. This is from my memory the second time they have done this, but I suppose this is their attempt to replace these probably long obtained cards with something else uh, in the future. You know, New Year isn't that long away from this, or with the support that has already been uh, introduced more rapidly to replace them. Uh, with them, which will provide a better chance for you to get them. You're probably saying to yourself, what am I talking about? Well, I hate to break it to you, but they are removing a number of them. The first card is Twin Barrel Dragon. This is an ultra rare. This is a dark machine level four with 1,700 attack and 1,200 defense. And its effect is when this card is summoned, target one card your opponent controls. Toss a coin twice, and if the result is two heads, destroy it. This can get rid of a monster your opponent controls. However, the chances of getting two heads aren't that likely, unless you are making a second coin toss deck. The stats make it worth running as a level 4 beta, but otherwise it is not that concerning if you haven't obtained it. The next card is Guardian Angel Joan. This is an ultra rare card. This is a Light Fairy level 7 with 2800 attack and 2000 defense. And its effect is, when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster in the graveyard. The life point boost um, is a, it's, it's a nice boost anyway, but it's uh, very strong by itself and is worth getting uh, before it. The next Card is Swarm of Locusts. This is an ultra rare. This is a Dark Insect level 3 with 1000 attack and 500 defense. And its effect is, once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped summoned, target one spell or trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. This card can get rid of a back row card. However, it takes a turn in order to use it and it is not strong enough to survive on its own, um, it's not necessary within your deck. The next card is Gravity Behemoth. This is a secret rare. This is a Dark Beast level 6 with 2300 attack and 2000 defense. And its effect is, if it is not the first turn of the jewel and there are no cards on the field, you can normal summon this card without uh, tributing. You can destroy all field spell cards on the field this card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. The summoning condition uh, you won't achieve. As for the field spell destruction, this can be very limited outside of uh, field spell centric decks, such as those focused on a legendary ocean. But then again, you have a spell and trap removal already within the game. The next card is Cestus of Dugla. This is a secret rare. It is an equipment spell card that says equip only to a fairy type monster. It gains 500 attack. If it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, gain life points equal to the damage inflicted. This is a life point boosting card, which is useful in long duel. This is a secret rare. It is a normal spell card that says return one spell or trap card your opponent controls to the hand. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated. This returns a back row card without your opponent being able to do anything about it. Useful if you want to push your game, but it's not the end of the world if you don't get it. The next card is Polarization. This is a secret rare. It is a normal spell card that says Fusion Summon 1 Fusion Monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. This is your go-to fusion card but you can get this easily within the hero structure deck. It's not a problem to get. This card is Dragon's Gunfire. This is a secret rare. It is a normal spell card that says, if you control a dragon type monster, activate one of these effects. Inflict 800 damage to your opponent, or target one monster with 800 or less defense. Destroy that target. This can sometimes be enough to finish off your opponent, or to defeat one of their uh, stronger monsters, as they might have um, something that has low defense. The next card is Life Force Harmonizer. This is a 
Wind Psychic level 2 with 800 attack and 400 defense. And its effect is when your opponent activates a card's effect that inflicts damage, you can discard this card to negate its activation and destroy it. This does not do much. The only time I have ever had to deal with this card was when facing the Psychic deck with Elemental Hero Lady Heat, who would get destroyed um, at the end phase for activating her effect, which is not optional. Next card is Burning Beast. This is a Fire Pyro Union level 4 with 1500 attack and 1000 defense, and its effect is once per turn during your main phase, if you control this monster on the field, you can equip it to your Freezing Beast as an equipment spell card or unequip the Union equipment and special summon this card in face up attack position. While equipped to a monster by this card's effect, each time the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, destroy one face up spell or trap card on the field. One monster can only be equipped with one Union monster at a time. If the equipped monster is destroyed as a result of battle, destroy this card instead. This card is paired with a Freezing Beast as a Union and can get rid of a face-up back row card. Not that useful, you should probably uh, have all you need of these. The next card is Freezing Beast. This is a Water Aqua Union level 4 with 1500 attack and 1000 defense. And its effect is once per turn during your main phase, if you control this monster on the field, you can equip it to your Burning Beast as an equipment spell card or unequip the Union equipment and special summon this card in face up attack position. While equipped to a monster by this card's effect, each time the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, destroy one face down spell or trap card on the field. One monster can only be equipped with one Union monster at a time. If the equipped monster is destroyed as a result of battle, destroy this card instead. This card does the opposite of Burning Beast. Um, rather than destroying a face-up card, it destroys a set back row, which is better, especially if they cannot be uh, triggered in response to this effect. The next card is Blackland Fire Dragon. This is a Dark Dragon at level 4 with 1500 attack and 800 defense. It is a normal monster. It was shown in the anime once in, uh, I think, episode one when Yugi was um, facing Joey in a, um, you know, in a normal duel without any of these futuristic animations. It was just playing the card game as normal. And Yugi used uh, this card, summoned this card to wipe out um, Joey's uh, monsters. It is a basic level four um but considering there is so much better than this card out there. Next card is Amazonas Spellcaster. This is a rare card. This is a normal spell card that says target one Amazonas card monster you control and one face up monster your opponent controls. Switch the original attack of those targets until the end of this turn. This effect can mean that an opponent's blue eyes white dragon, for example, can end up with something like 1500 attack whilst you get the benefit of those 3,000 attack points working for you. The next card is Two Pronged Attack. This is a normal trap card that says select and destroy two of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters. This is a new card and trust me when I say it is not worth getting. It is also the lowest rarity so you should have all easily met what you needed from this card. It is the equivalent of a minus two because not only are you sacrificing your two monsters just to remove one of theirs um you're using this in as a third card it's not worth getting it's from one of the oldest sets as well this was at the time of Yu-Gi-Oh when um, you know simple battle destruction was enough to um get rid of a card without having to do much the next card is Disc Fighter. This is an Earth Warrior level 4 with 1000 attack and 1000 defense. And its effect is, if this card attacks a defense position monster with a defense 2000 or more, destroy that monster with this card's effect without applying a damage calculation. This is too specific. You won't get the effect of reliability and it's very easy to get. 
The last card is Energy Absorbing Monolith. This is a normal trap card that says, chain this card to an opponent's card effect that would inflict damage to you. That damage is negated and you gain life points equal to the amount you would have taken. There aren't that many damage effects to use with this, with this in, in play. So what do you guys think about the loss of these cards? Are there any that you are currently missing? Or does this give uh, Konami the opportunity to release more variety of cards with the uh, card trailer feature in the future? Remember, you have until December 7th to get the old versions if you are missing any. Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.